Greetings and welcome back to Hydraneer. In our last episode, we added to our Goliath automation. First of all, we added three more Goliaths. We added a whole bunch of little grinders. And of course, we added a harvester, so we have stuff up here. We also added a conveyor to uh, dump stuff. By the way, that's actually lined up at the moment there. Uh, I also had to make a change here because there was no space for Goliaths. Yeah, I had to move everything one over here because, unfortunately, I didn't take that into consideration. And, of course, today the big plan was to add everything we need to process. I'm sure that those of you who know this game better than me... Remember, I've never claimed to be an expert in this game. I am just somebody who is learning as it goes along and hoping that my audience can learn as well. But those of you who have knowledge of this game were probably waiting for this moment. The moment when reality came knocking on my door. And reality has come knocking on my door. What am I talking about? Well, you know what? Let's just turn all this on and take a look here. All right, we got that. And then, of course, the water is flowing and everything is going. So let's turn on those Goliaths now. All righty. Were they on already? Hold on a minute. What? Maybe they were on already? Nope. Nope. What's going on? Hmm. Is there a piping issue? Sometimes things get a little bit bugged. Where is the... Um, where's the hammer? Hold on a minute. Boom. That's got water now. Okay, that's got water now. All right, hold it a minute. There we go. Yeah, I and mean, sometimes it gets a little bugged. Hey, wait a minute. Why is it that two of them don't have lights on? Um, two of them don't have lights on. Why is that? Well, if you remember, those were the first two that I put down. And we did our initial testing with those, okay? They don't seem to be working. Why don't they seem to be working? Well, here's the thing. The drill actually makes a physical hole in the ground. And when it reaches a certain point, it stops drilling. But that means it's cleared out everything in that hole, so there's nothing more for it to drill. So it's sitting there inert because it can't reach any more dirt. These guys are going because they haven't been going as long. But you know what? They just went out. They're empty now too. So these five Goliaths can no longer get me anything out of the ground because all that's under them right now is a big old hole. All right, let's just turn this off. And then we'll turn this off. All right, and we'll take this out. I'm going to have to do a lot of this anyway, so I already took that out. All right, that's fine. All right, um, let's take this guy and put him over here. Okay. Yeah, you notice the really deep hole there. Very deep hole. I fall in there and I hit the unstuck button to get out. The thing is, it won't drill any deeper than that, so there's nothing for it to actually produce. This is the problem with the uh, Goliaths. Now, I just want to put this in here, put one of these guys in here, probably more than one, because we're going to have to perform some surgery. Uh, in the end here, we're going to have to ask a question. All right, can you just go down there a little bit more? Hold on a minute. Can you can you go down there a little bit more? Because I'm going to... All right, here's what we're going to have to do. I'm going to have to dig. Um, no, not that. Yeah, I brought this over thinking I was going to be doing what we did over there. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem as if that's going to happen. All right, let's see here. Um... That should allow me to do what I wanted to do. At least I hope it does. All right. Don't fall in the hole. Don't fall in the hole. All right. Right there. There we go. Right there. All right. So there we go. And let's just... Uh, here, give me this. Clear a little bit of stuff here away. 
There we go. Okay. So how do we fix this? It's very simple. Goliath requires David. So let's just go get a David. I'm going I it's only one thing that I need. So there's no purpose in getting into a vehicle or using a um, uh, a little cart or anything like that. So I'm just going to run over there and get it. Running is good. Besides, it's a beautiful day. I just wish it was always day because there's no reason for the sun to go down in this game. All right, uh, I believe it's over here. Sitting right next to the, uh, between the ram drum. Why isn't it sitting next to Goliath? Because this is David. Hi, David. David is a real pain, by the way. All right, let's just run David back here. Unfortunately, if you're going to use Goliath, David is kind of required. Unless, of course, you want to use a shovel a lot. Which we don't want to do, by the way. But David is a pain. Unfortunately, the way he was designed makes him extremely painful to use. I will demonstrate regarding that. And as I said at the beginning, this is all going to come down to a question. All right, so basically, let's look at David for a moment. All right, David takes water, but David also requires a shard to function. What David's going to do, let's pick it up and look at it. A dynamic auto-voxel inclusion distributor. Oh, there it is. Basically, it's shard power. What it's going to do is it duplicates the dirt nearby. That's very important to remember, nearby. All right, so let's just uh, try to throw this guy into place here. All right, that's not the way I want that. Rotate, there we go, all right. I'm gonna have to take that block out of there for now, probably forever. All right, it needs water going in through the sides, so I'm going to need a T right here. All right, let's see, right there. And then a couple of elbows should be able to do the job for us here. So let's put this, okay, hold it over here. All right, um, let's see. Almost, rotate, rotate. Okay, that unfortunately did not do what I wanted it to do. T, 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 there we go. And then I'm gonna need another one right here. All right, let's see. Um, can I see it from that angle? All right, hold on a minute. Uh, I can't see it from this angle. There we go. That should be better. All right. Uh, why? There we go. Boom. Okay, so we're gonna feed it. Uh, we're gonna feed it from here. I need more space. By the way, pay attention to how much trouble this is because that's an important point. All right, let me just put another one of these guys down here. All right. Can you go down there? Like that. All right. And then I'm going to need to clear that away. There we go. Um, that should do. Okay. So here is the... Oh, you know what? I can't do that. I was about to do something, but I can't do it. Here is the huge gargantuan problem. This requires a shard. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to open this guy up. We're going to... See... The lip here that's hanging over makes it really hard to drop it straight down, right? Uh, hold on a second. Um, but that's not even the big problem here. Okay, maybe if I close it, it'll go in. No, it won't. The, um, the door clips through. So the thing is, it doesn't matter if you perfectly drop it or not. It's always going to clip through. So... We have to come up with another way to get the shard bar in there. So, you're out. This is basically what you have to do. Now, I'm not saying you do this with these guys, but this is what I have at the moment. This might be a job for Claudium. And, uh, boom. Okay, um, oh, no, nope, no, nope. come on, come on. You can do it, you can do it. Um, it's a little bit too on the outside here. Hold on a minute. There we go. All right, where is it? Here it is. All right, and... 
Come on. Okay, I'm too close. Okay, and now all of a sudden it's tipped over. Uh, why? Okay, I kind of messed that up. And then why? Rotate. Okay, what is it doing? <laughs> Hold on a minute. Drop it. Okay, like that. Can you just stay like that, please? I guess not. All right, let's see. Uh, y? No, I'm rotating it the wrong way. T. There we go. There we go. I think. No, I am actually got it upside down. T, T. There it is. And then let's rotate that way. All right, so it should, boom, right there. Okay, so you can see one of the bars is actually inside now. Now, using another bar under there isn't really efficient, but we're just going what we have for now, aren't we? Okay, so what does a David do? Let's find out what a David does. It creates small planets. That's what it does. Hold on a second. Hopefully the civilization that uh, forms on this new world won't do something like this. No, hopefully it won't. Okay, so basically the idea is it creates a globe of dirt based on the dirt around it. Very important concept. We're going to get back to that. All right, so now we have to put this thing back in. Um, I need the T... And I'm going to have to do rotate, rotate, rotate. Actually, I'm going to do T. Nope, I shouldn't have done T. I should have done Y. Up, oh, there we go. And then I'm going to need this. But you know what I really need? I need to go to bed because it's late. T. Okay. Y. And then rotate. Oh, I think I had it there and I messed it up. Right there. There we go. All right. Before I plug that in, it's way too dark. So, morning. Yeah, just give us the option to have it noon every day. That's all. I mean, it's just, it doesn't serve any real purpose. Okay. So, let's throw this in now. All right. So, let's see. Uh, is that where the, uh, let's rotate it. I think that's right. Nope. Nope. Whoa. Oh, I put it in the wrong place by a big margin. All right, hold on a second. Okay, there it is. It's plugged in now. All right, so he's going to be hovering up in the air there for a while. All right, so let's turn this on. And then let's turn this on. Now, notice the drill isn't doing anything at the moment. The reason it's not doing anything was the reason it wasn't doing anything before. Notice the light is off. Which reminds me, I need to turn these guys off. Because, I mean, I'm just kind of wasting at this point. So I'll just turn them off. All right. As soon as David does his thing, like that, the drill activated and you see the light came on. See, once it tunneled everything out that it could, there was no dirt, so it just didn't activate because there was nothing for it to drill. So David is going to create a, uh, a big wad of dirt based on what's around it and put it up there, right? So this thing's going to start drilling through it. Now, it's also going to push another one up above because this thing is not going to be able to finish it before it creates another one. Okay, there we go. And you notice it just put another one in there. All right, and let's go check this out. And once again, we have all kinds of tiny little things coming out. So as long as David has the water going in... Oh, wonderful. Yeah, I need a rail on this, don't I? Here, do that. As long as David has the uh, water... And it has a shard bar in it, which it's going to eat up over time, so it'll have to be replaced. Then the Goliath will keep functioning, keep drilling, and hopefully not throw things out of here. I'm going to have to put a rail on that, ain't I? So here's the question. Is this worth the trouble? And I mean... In this environment, is it worth the trouble? See, now the drill's going down further there because it ate away at the first little glob there. But here's the thing. Is it worth the trouble? 
because look, we're getting little pieces here. See, there they are, right there. And why is that? Well, as I mentioned, the David is actually duplicating the dirt around it. This is surface, so it's only going to be a little shards. See, that's something when I plugged this in in the last episode. Was it really better than a ram drill? On the surface, I think no. This is absolutely not worth it. Not worth the trouble. Can you imagine doing all of this? All the piping I'd have to do? Because, I mean, this doesn't exactly pass the water through. I'd have to have an independent pipe each time, which means I'd have to push all of this out. There's no way I could do all five of them. It's just not possible. because Unless I pushed it all the way across the field here. But even then, why am I doing this? I went through a lot of trouble to create an inferior ram drill. I mean, the ram drills just... Here, let's come over here. Just put a ram drill in. That's all. All I need is a T and a ram drill, and that's all I need. Mind you, I did have a problem here, and I don't really know what the problem is, but I'm willing to bet if I put a couple more over here, they'd probably work. And in terms of working on the surface, that's probably the best thing to do. See, here's the thing. This setup is very viable, but I think it's viable for underground. See, it's going to a lot of trouble to get a big chunk, and then we're grinding it, and then we're getting little, little chunks here. Little itty-bitty chunks, right? There they are, right there. Little itty-bitty chunks. The thing is, if we were doing that, you know, at bedrock, not quite on bedrock, maybe just above bedrock, then those big wads of dirt would probably have big chunks of ore and gems and things like that. So the thing is, doing this on the surface is probably a complete waste of time. This, all of this, has to be done underground at bedrock. And, uh, you know, let me just turn this off. And, oh, 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 I didn't even see that. Here we go. All right, uh, grab this and then repair... All right, let's just check the other ones here. Okay, that one is 100, 39, 56. Okay, so the second one is going to fail fairly soon. So, I mean, the thing is that this, if I went through the trouble of doing that for each of these, it still wouldn't be as useful as that. The thing is, if you put a ram drill on the bottom, it's probably only going to come up with little chunks. At least, you know, we could test that but I have a feeling the ram drill is for the surface and the Goliath is for underground. That's the basically what I think is going on here. See, we're not getting a bunch of chunks, but in this case, we're getting little ones. If we were getting like what we were getting in the first mine when we went down to the bedrock and we were digging, remember we were getting big chunks then? If we were getting that, then this thing would definitely be paying for itself. But at the moment, it isn't. So I think that this, or some version of this, needs to be moved underground. That's going to mean digging. We're going to have to dig. And I have a feeling I know where we're going to be digging. And that, of course, is the first place that we could have done. And that was the mildew aquifier, I believe it was. Because that one, if you drill down, the bottom, the bedrock, is water. And if the water is down there, it'll certainly make one of these machines a lot easier to get because you don't have to worry about these long pipings. You can basically just have little sections with an intake coming right from the ground. Uh, you probably will have to filter it or something like that to make sure that you're not destroying because that's what this does here. This filtering is to protect the hardware over there. So, I mean, it is, you can't just, take each guy and give him an intake because that would probably end up damaging them very quickly. But the thing is, it will make it much easier to actually build. So I think the digging is going to have to happen if we want to have a proper um, Goliath situation because unfortunately, Goliath does require David. Yeah, this, this isn't going to happen. Not here. Maybe some other situation in the future, but I do believe if it's actually going to produce for us, 
I mean, basically, this is an inferior that. That's what I'm talking about. I mean, over here, the main problem I have with this is that I didn't plan in advance to have all of these guys on one switch. And now it's not really something that I can do because the problem is that this all is being powered by the same water line. I would have to break it off early. I have to rebuild the whole thing. That's what it comes down to. And I don't like turning all the little switches on. I like the one switch over here, but I did build that in in the beginning. So I think that if we're going to do Goliaths, it's going to have to be underground. There's no way around that. And I think that going underground is probably the next thing that we're going to be doing. It's going to take a while. I'm probably going to have to get the, the big old digger there. I think it's called an excavator. And um, as I understand, that thing is very wonky and can be very dangerous too. So it might end up being a lot of like hand work. Because I think there's some ramps over in the housing area that we can use. And um, yeah, I have to be very careful, very careful. But we do need to get down to the bedrock over there. So I'm going to buy that one and I might start working on that to see whether or not we can do it fairly easily. Anyway, this, there really isn't much purpose in continuing. Because even if I did this for all of these, I'm just turning them into inferior ram drills. That's what it comes down to because they're just producing stuff from the surface. If it was at bedrock and the David was getting the soil from around there, that would be a different matter. And I think that's what's supposed to happen. So I think we're done here. Next stop, underground. Anyway, thank you very much for your attention. I really appreciate it. And play games because games are fun. See ya.